everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're at Warrior West out in San Diego. We uh, have TCI here in our booth, and uh, we want to introduce you to Jim. Hey. Good to see you. How's it you. going? Doing well. Right on. So you brought in this uh, half mannequin. It looks that's, all decked out. That's right. Uh, this is our, our half again, decked out with our Liberator 3 uh, dual comm headset uh, that we've made a military free fall parachuting modification to that allows the operator to actually utilize the oxygen mask and communicate on his radios that he has on his base layer and then allows him to actually, when he hits the drop zone, to unplug, one plug, ditch all his military free fall equipment, move the boom mic down in front of his face and actually continue the mission uh, basically seamlessly. Yeah. So this is different than what's been used in the marketplace, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, usually what will happen is, is that uh, there will be a small cable that will go between the microphone that's on the mask and that will plug into the back of the headset. You say and it's that, real difficult. Yeah, it's a, it's a little two-prong little plug. It's very hard to get in there. You're not actually seeing what you're doing. And it's a two-step process where you have to unplug the plug that's uh, plugged into the headset and then replug another plug back in for your boom mic. It's just a lot of okay. moving parts. Yeah, a lot of moving parts, kind of something that's hard to do on a hostile drop zone in the dark you know, with your flight gloves on. Right. Uh, kind of a difficult uh, process where all we have to do with this is just simply unplug this plug and you're operating as you normally would with your base layer of uh, gear. So, and this is specific to your system? That is correct. Okay, so this whole, everything's made up, TCI? That, that's correct, it's our proprietary switchology, it's in the PTT, uh, obviously our uh, headset, we have our new Revision 6 uh, digital signal processor in there. So tell that, us a little bit about that, because you, you explained it to me before the interview. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have our own base electronics in our uh, headset system, uh, it's the Revision 6 digital signal processor. It's new on all our headsets now. Uh, it is what, light years to... Yes, it, we own the, the rights to that electronic uh, product that's inside that headset, and that allows us to uh, execute the basically what we call situational enhancement on the headset itself that basically processes outside noise that you can actually hear stuff behind you and around you and know where it's at while keeping your headset on. So unlike noise canceling, which that's you correct. hear, you know, bows and yeah, all that. Yeah, that's things, correct. This is situational no awareness. awareness enhancement, okay? The, our noise, you know, when there's a, a loud pulse impulse uh, type noise, which is like gunfire and explosion, this does not cut off. It basically lowers that sound to a hearable level. It's not gonna damage your hearing. Right. And then stuff like us whispering to each other is boosted up so we can still hear the gunfire, which is kind of important yeah, if you're right. going to yeah. be in a gunfight, and still be able to effectively or communicate. Doors yeah, exactly. Or any, you know, any be, type of be effectively uh, communicating with each other um, in that situation. That's amazing. And you said this is a, a dual, so you can have. Yeah, two. that's correct. We can also do this modification with our single comm Liberator Two. Okay. Um, but this is a dual comm setup, Liberator Three. You can run two radios at the same time. Uh, some other features that allow uh, with a dual comm system. Uh, if the guy's going to be doing military free fall parachuting, uh, we do make some adapter cables to allow a guy to unplug from one of his audio leads and plug directly into the ICS system on board the aircraft to conduct his jump master duties. Right. So you can actually, you know, communicate with the load master, communicate with the air crew, and you know, then make adjustments pull. and then unplug, plug Go back on. into his radio, jump out of the airplane. And, and how long has this product been out on the market for? Uh, we've, we've done some uh, testing with uh, uh, Air Force Special Operations Command and with the United States Army uh, Special Forces Command. Okay. Uh, probably about a year or so we've had this. We were talking before and you gave you a little bit of background. So who came to you and said, we need this and this, we have this problem and we want your solution? U.S. Army Special Forces. Okay. Yeah, they have uh, uh, military free fall specialty teams within uh, Special Forces and they wanted a way to be able to communicate uh, while they're conducting a thing called high altitude, high opening uh, military free fall parachute infiltration. Right. And they're going to be still on O2 under canopy. For, and sus for and sustained period yeah, of time. Yeah, exactly. And it's basically it's an infiltration technique that allows guys to jump out on one side of a line and fly their canopy over the other side of a line. Right. And of course, they want to be able to communicate with each other while they're doing that. Because you're in the dark, and you right. want to be able to know where na you have a point man navigating you. Absolutely, and that's that way the guys all hit together in one location, and the force is there together to conduct their operation once they actually get on the ground. Uh, cool. Something else we can do with this PTT that helps that out is we can install what we call a sniper switch, and it basically takes the place of the PTT right here and puts it on your fingertip, basically routed through your arm. And while your hands are on the toggles controlling your parachute, you can actually key your radio. And then talk. Exactly. Whatever you need to do. Exactly. Well, great. 
Well, I appreciate you coming. We, we love working with you guys. Yeah. And, uh, we've been good partners for a while. Yeah, so. absolutely. It's great to be here. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it.